Good morning, guys. You watch Mike, the musical vegan beast, about 6.30 in the morning. And I suppose I should get up, right? I'm going to get up, have some coffee, and then maybe some breakfast. I'll take it from there. What's going on, guys? You're watching Mike, the musical vegan beast. It's about 7 in the morning on a Friday. 7 a.m. waking up in the morning. You know, it's Friday, Friday. I'm going to get down on Friday. Getting down on Friday. And I got some coffee. And we got some oatmeal. Gotta have my bowl, gotta have cereal. We're going to eat up, chow down, and head out the door for some work. So stick around. All right, ladies and gentlemen, as you can see here, got my phone vest so I can record hands-free. And that way I can do vlog stuff without having to use my hands or anything. Jazz hands. And I'm about to go to work. So without any further ado, let's get it on. All right, we got our bike out here. And looks like we're fully charged. Let's check it out. And then I'm just gonna turn the key. All right, we just got ourselves a, a DoorDash order from Cracker Barrel, so I'm gonna head there now. Like shortcut. And we got another shortcut right here. A little bumpy. Bump, 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 bump. And got it. <laughs> right by the Waffle House. Don't try this one at home. But we're going to cut through right here once it dies down. Uh, right after this guy. All right. Sharp right, and bam, just like that. All right, here we are, crack a barrel. That order now. And I keep my alarm in here. That way, nobody tries to steal the mic. All right. Doesn't look like it's ready yet. I already got Christmas out. That's pretty cool. A lot of stuff from the Grinch. Hey! I'm good. I'm picking up for Justine. It's a DoorDash. Hey, do you mind if I got a piece of tape over that? Just so it doesn't spill. Sweet. Thank you. You too. Yeah. Pardon me. Yeah. Thanks. All right. We got our order. Let's get going. And let's make sure I don't spill anything. Let's see. Actually, I think I can fit the coffee in there. Yeah, it should be able to fit in there just fine. Just want to make sure I don't spill anything. Okay, that should be good. On my way to drop off this cracker barrel order. Alright, there we go. 
And I gotta watch out for this hump right here. Cause I got some coffee in the back. I don't wanna spill it. Grab right this guy. There we go. Oh yeah, climbing hills like a champ. If you're gonna use an electric bike for work like this, make sure you get something with a lot of torque. This bike has 85 newton meters of torque. What that does is it allows you to carry payload, accelerate more quickly, and climb up hills more easily. And plus, we get things like this. Let's go, baby. Come on, 31. Yeah! 31.2! Wicked, baby! Yeah! Man, gotta love it. It's another judgment day. I can only imagine how many people find it funny that I'm going around on this bike 30 miles an hour, 29 miles an hour, and I'm pedaling. They must look at me and be like, who the hell is this guy? Even when I'm using pedal assist mode 5, which is the highest mode for most electric bikes, I still pedal with it because I'm going almost as fast as, as if I just used the throttle, but I'm using about 50% less power. So if you're using 50% less power, then that's more range. And the electric range for pedal is just five when you're pedaling. For this bike, it gets up to 65 miles. I want to still get the most miles that I can, even if I am using higher PAS, you know, pedal assist mode. 30 miles pedaling. All right. Good stuff, good stuff. All right, so here we are. All right, looks like the coffee is mostly intact. So that's good. All right, good to go. All right, one done, many more to go. All right, we got ourselves an Uber Eats order. Is that Dunkin' Donuts? We're gonna go get it right now. I'm gonna wait till these guys get out of the way. Better safe than sorry. Ah, we're good. All right, here we are, Dunkin' Donuts. Let's go get it. Hey, I'm uh, picking up for Lisa. Yeah. Oh, okay. Simple enough. Thank you. Whoops. I knew that. We're delivering the Uber Eats order now. It's that coffee that's right in front of me. Doing my best to not spill it. That's why I'm riding on the road. Except this part of the road, it's, it's not really a bike lane, but it's not really a car lane either. It's sort of a halfway lane, I guess. I don't know what the exact term is, but it's one of those lanes where bikers can be on it, but cars can make turns on it too. It's not really a turning lane because there's no arrows. But, you know, I digress, it's okay. But up ahead, there is going to be a bike lane, so that'll be good. And so far, so good, as far as the coffee not spilling. And we should be able to get there, no problem, as long as I don't jinx myself. Hooray, we got ourselves a bike lane. Man, I'm tripping. I forgot, I still got music. Oh yeah, much better. Oh, thanks. Nice. Yeah, go up to 30 miles an hour. It gets over 100 mile range if I'm pedaling on pedal assist mode one. I got off Amazon's the Vic Trip Titan. Was like three grand or more, right? This one I actually got for about 1250. Really? Yeah. So if you if you're interested in getting something, I'd recommend oh, this one. Trip? Yeah. Is that the name of it? Yeah, I ordered it off Amazon, but you can get like accessories and parts off their website. Very nice. It's very efficient. 
Congratulations. Yeah, thanks. Yeah, thanks. Take care. All right, let's drop off this order. And it's in one piece. Only minimal spilling right there. I don't think they'll make a big fuss about that. Yeah. All right, another order done. Let's see what else I can get. All right, I'm on my way to Wayback Burgers. It's a grub pub order, so I managed to get at least one order each this morning from Grubhub, DoorDash, and Uber Eats. So I thought that was pretty cool. Alright, here we are. Way back burgers. If only they were vegan burgers, but whatever. Maybe someday. Alright, let's go get it. Hey, I'm picking up for Joe. Uh, just... Okay. Yeah, there's some cute drawings on the wall. And that one's a dog. That's a cute dog. That's another cute dog. That's a cute dog, too. Oh, sweet. Thank you. Hey, uh, do you mind if I get a drink carrier? Do you happen to have one? Cool beans. There you go. Right. Thank you. Have a good one. You too. All right, we got our Grubhub order, and before the alarm goes off again, let's make sure I unlock it. I have a habit of doing that. There we go. And let's get you situated in there. And cover up. All right, we're good to go. Let's get it. Wow, that was a big bump. Let me double check, just to make sure that drink didn't spill. Sometimes these bumps like that spill the drinks. All right. Ooh, that was a close one. All right. Actually, let's put this right in here. Okay, that's probably better. And what am I doing? Forgotten to play music. Oh yeah, in the mirror of lies. Ah, sweet. There's a bike lane up ahead. All right. Let's make sure we're clear. All right, just what I was looking for. All right, that's much more like it. When the human factor shows. Oh yeah. You guys like Metal Church? Let me know in the comments down below. Let me know which one's your favorite album from them. If I had to pick one, I'd probably go with Blessing in Disguise. That album's just so good, dude. You know, you got Fake Healer, you got Badlands, The Powers That Be. Just absolute banger songs. Anthem of the Estranged. Good stuff, man. And if I had to pick another one, I really like Hanging in the Balance. That's probably their most experimental album. And it's a really good one, too. Their newer stuff's pretty good. Congregation of Annihilation, Eleven, Damned If You Do. Some of their other older stuff, like The Human Factor, and The Dark, The Self-Titled. Such a great band. Oh, here we are. Almost went past it. All right, we made it. In one piece. Good stuff. I think I'm going to hang on to that. All right. All right, down there. All right, that's another order. And maybe I can take something back home with me. 
because I'm gonna head back home, have a little lunch, have some afternoon coffee. Then I'm gonna work on my next video, which is how to change bike brake pads, and then we'll take it from there. All right, peace.